My name's Rosemary Goddard and my husband Tony is a resident here. He's been a resident for about six years now. He developed uh, Alzheimer's disease 11 years ago when he was 63. But my name's Janet and my husband David is at Broome Park. He has a degenerative brain disease called frontotemporal dementia. My name is Rosa and I work in the Information and Support Services for Cancer Patient. Patients who are transferred onto the ward are usually very poorly. They need uh, more care than just an outpatient. So uh, we have a team of volunteers and myself as well who visit the patient. Obviously being here as an inpatient can be very lonely. Um, those patients um, obviously have visitors but most of the time they are on their own. Tony has nothing left in his life except music. It's his only form of, um, if you like, communication. I think he still wants to engage with the world and music makes a big difference. The iPod Pharmacy is a UK-wide scheme that we are launching. We have teamed up with a music therapy organisation called Music Heals in Canada who already run the pharmacy there. So people can donate their old iPods, which they don't use anymore, to Chilter Music Therapy. We will then clean up their iPods, and for every iPod that we receive, Skull Candy are going to donate a pair of headphones to us. Basically, music is innate in all of us. It's one of the first things that we develop as a sense, an auditory sense, and it's one of the last things that's affected by cognitive damage or any sort of you know, damage to the brain. I use David's old phone which has a lot of music on, which he recorded when he was undiagnosed, but obviously definitely suffering from the condition. It's used to calm him, it's used to help him go to sleep, it's used for us to sort of all join in and try and sing along. It just is invaluable. It just really like generates memories and stirs memories up from feelings and emotions, which can be really beneficial and help, help people to connect to one another. And I started singing, he joined in, and he sang the whole thing with me and this is somebody who hasn't spoken properly or had a conversation with anybody for ages so for me that is a, a memory I will treasure. So people who will be able to use the iPod um, pharmacy will be people in hospital, older people in hospital who may not have access to technology the same way that younger people do. The iPods can contain music, favourite songs, albums and audio books too. Music for the, those patients really can take their minds away with, uh, from what is happening to them. As a music therapist, I constantly see the effects and benefits that music can have on people, especially when undergoing treatment. But unfortunately, I can't be everywhere helping people to you know, be involved in music. So this iPod family is a great opportunity to just offer it to a wider range of people um, in the moment, during their treatment at any time. I believe that having something that we can tailor for someone's soundtrack of their life and being music that's meaningful for that individual can help to stimulate and engage them. If you've got an old iPod lying in a drawer, please donate it to Chilton Music Therapy. It will make a massive difference.